Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy with another great video for you guys regarding the Fuji X-T1. Today we're going to get into a very interesting function that you might not realize you have. By the way, if you don't have it in this video or in, pre in future videos about the things I talk about regarding this camera or other piece of technology, it's most likely because you don't have the correct firmware or the most up-to-date firmware. So in my previous videos, I have talked about how to check your current firmware and how to update it step by step. So please be sure to do that if you care to have your camera up to date. Uh, firmwares fix your bugs that the manufacturer may have overlooked in the beginning and they also add new features such as this electronic shutter function. Now I'm not sure if the electronic shutter function ES came stock with your camera or if it was a firmware update. So that's up to you guys to find out. But if you do have it, that's good. Let's move on. What is ES? What is MS? MS is mechanical shutter. That is what your camera is probably set to right now as a default. When you take a picture, you typically think of a camera doing that chunk or a snap type of fashion. What's happening is as you press the button to take a picture, it opens a shutter, lets light through, records an image this way, and then closes after a certain amount of time. That's the shutter speed. That's the shutter mechanically moving, opening, and closing. Simple enough, right? So that's what we all think when we think of taking pictures with your camera. That's what we feel in our hands. The electronic shutter, you're gonna find, or you're gonna see as we work together on this, nothing really moves in that huge sense in your camera. So some people might say there's less wear and tear if you're using the ES. Um, I was thinking this is really cool new technology that these cameras have that only my camera has the ES. And well, if you think about it, not really, because old even cell phones, they have great cameras nowadays, 4K and uh, amazing technology. They all use electronic shutters. They don't have big giant shutters moving inside the the phone, not that I'm aware of. So the electronic shutter is nothing too new, but it's amazing that they incorporate it into these mirrorless cameras. So hopefully that made sense. Let's move on to the next segment and let's work on the electronic shutter together. Nothing special, but it looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, feel the camera as I do it one more time. Yeah, the camera is definitely moving. I feel it in my hands. What's happening is the shutter is opening and closing, and you can't help but feel that, uh, that happening in your hands. I happen to like that feeling. I don't see any reason to get rid of that, but some people may not like it, especially the sound that it generates. So that's where we're going to explore the ES, electronic shutter. What we just experienced now was what you're used to, the mechanical shutter. So how do we mess with this? Press the menu button here and follow along. Okay, so it actually went to where I left off, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. Imagine that I ended up here at camera one in the little menu bar here. I'm going to go ahead and skip down to the number five, okay? Press the right arrow. Okay, you'll see here shutter type is MS. That is mechanical shutter as we discussed. Press the uh, right button here to go further into the menu. You'll see here there's three things to choose from, MS, ES, MS, and ES. Um, there are certain parameters and certain limits to each of them and pros and cons. Let's go into that right now. MS, as you see here, there isn't really any sort of restrictions here. It'll be listed at the bottom. ES, electronic shutter, has some parameters you have to stay within. ISO is between 6400 and 200. Shutter speed is between 1 32 thousandths of a second and 1 second. Okay, 1 second is actually a pretty long time. And the last one is MS plus, plus ES. Um, I'm guessing it's combining the powers of the two as you can go between any shutter speed and only between ISO of 6400 and 200. Let's not get bogged into this right now. We all know that MS is what your camera is used to and what you're used to, so we're not going to go into that right now. We're going to go, well, that's what you're used to anyway. The ES is what we're here to discuss. Don't worry about the parameters right now. Uh, if it doesn't work, you'll find out soon enough anyway. Press the menu OK button here. Now look at what you just did. You just changed the MS to ES. So your camera is now using the electronic shutter function. OK, uh, press the shutter button halfway. We're back into live view. I'm going to take a picture of this little knife. 
it was a little different this time. I didn't feel any mechanical moving in my in my camera, and I heard a very artificial clicking sound. Uh, you might not have that sound in your camera yet, and that's because you haven't set it. Let's go ahead and um, investigate this further. Press menu again, and you notice that it kind of goes to where we left off, which is really handy. I'm not sure if that was a firmware update, but I like that it goes to where I need to go. Otherwise, I have to go hunting all over again and lose precious seconds of my life. Okay, so press the left so I can go into the menu bar here and press down to go to the wrench, uh, wrench number one. Press the right arrow and go to sound setup. That's right there, okay? We're going to adjust the sound for the camera's shutter. Now, there's operation volume that regards to the camera making its beeping noises. That's not what we're going to adjust today. We're going to adjust the shutter volume and the shutter sound, okay? The shutter volume, the electronic shutter has a sound you can, uh, you can assign it to, and the volume is regarding to how loud or quiet it is. So let's go to the shutter sound first. Okay, the shutter sound, you'll see here there's one, two, and three. Think of these as ringtones for your phone. So one is really subtle and sharp, Number two is a little bit more elongated. Number three is the more artificial snapping of a camera we're all used to. Let's go ahead and pick two for now. Press OK. Let's go to shutter volume now. Now that we've picked the ringtone that we like, let's go to shutter volume. Press OK there and then pick one of these. Let's pick the loudest one right there. Press OK. So what do we just do? We picked ringtone number two for our shutter sound, the electronic shutter sound. As you guys all know, the mechanical shutter sound has its own sound already innately in the camera, so there's nothing to assign there. Um, but the shutter volume here is nice and loud. Okay, so you'll see here we picked number two, and we made the loudest it can go. Press here, the shutter button, halfway. Now we're back in live view. Let's hit the, take the same picture of the knife. Nice. It's very loud and sharp, but very brief. And I don't feel the shutter going inside the camera. I don't feel any physical movement inside the camera. Now this can be a good thing, because a lot of people are saying that as the camera takes physical pictures, there's of course moving parts inside, and you can wear it out a lot faster if you're using the MS, mechanical shutter. By using electronic shutter, you're bypassing all that and relying on the electronic function to go ahead and take the picture electronically, digitally. Now this is very similar to your cell phone. The way your cell phone takes pictures, it's not using any kind of huge mechanical um, shutters in there. It's using it, it's doing it digitally, it's doing it electronically. So I think that's where I kind of got the idea from. And I've heard a lot of people using and relying ES on long exposure times, uh, maybe 30 seconds or something like that. As we all saw in the limitations on the little bar below, the electronics can't, electronic shutter cannot go past one second. And that's kind of a kind of a big letdown. So um, if you can go past one second, please let me know. But as far as I know, based on what I read there, the limitations are pretty specific. So let's go ahead and take another picture. Remember that sound, because we're going to adjust it right now. Go to Menu, and you'll notice it went right back to where we need to be, except we're, we're happy with the ES for right now, because we're going to keep messing with it. Press the left arrow to go into this bar, press down, and over right, and press uh, Sound Setup once again. Now, the shutter volume, let's keep it nice and loud. The shutter sound, let's change that. I don't want this sound anymore. I want a different ringtone press the right arrow, and I'm going to sound number three. Press OK, and half press the shutter button. All right, we're back to live view, and let's take another picture. Wow, the sound is a lot different. It's uh, the last option that I picked, and it's still very loud. Um, I like the artificial sounding of the camera. I'm not, it's, that might be up to you, um, but I don't think it's really necessary, and especially not being that loud, I definitely don't think it's necessary. Let's go ahead and change the volume on this thing. Let's press menu and go down to the 
arrow, uh, I'm sorry, the wrench number one, again, press the right arrow to go into the sound setup, press menu OK, or press the right arrow, and then shutter volume. Remember, we're staying on number three, ringtone number three, and the shutter volume needs to be changed to be not as piercingly, trebly loud. All right, so let's go down to the lowest one without being completely off again. Have, press the shutter button. Now listen. Much quieter, much more easier to deal with, and uh, not as piercing loud to you or the people around you. What if I wanted it to be completely quiet? Uh, let's say I'm at a monastery or a church function or a graduation function. You don't want to be a nuisance like all the other huge DSLR users. Why not take control of your technology and be a little quieter and more respectful of your neighbors? So let's go to menu once more time. Let's go down to the wrench again because we're going to adjust the sound one last time in this lesson. Okay, shutter sound, uh, number three. No, we're going to shutter volume, okay? It doesn't matter what the shutter sound is at this point, because we're going to adjust the volume for the electronic shutter. Let's turn this sucker off. Boom. You see, I'm at number three. doesn't matter, because the volume is off. So if I want it back on, I just have to adjust the volume once more. Have press the shutter button. Let's take the picture one more time. Really listen close. right now. Did you hear it? That noise you're hearing is the lens grinding on the table right now as it focuses. That's not the noise I'm talking about. You're not hearing the shutter speed going at all. You're not hearing any artificial noises that you've assigned to it because the volume is completely off. It's completely silent and uh, definitely a weapon that you need to have in your camera arsenal of knowledge because if you're at a certain function where you have your camera you might miss some awesome moments because they told you you cannot make any noise well now you can take pictures and be completely silent um and i'm running out of batteries right now i'm just in good timing too so be sure to learn your es function the electronic shutter es shutter function and learn how to adjust the sound to be completely silent or make it fun for yourself and have it at different types of ringtones for yourself. Hope this helps you guys learn more about your camera. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.